Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make decorative mugs however you want, whatever you want on it. We're going to use it for Father's Day, but you can definitely apply this technique to any holiday. A link will be in the description below for all of the things you will need for this project on Amazon. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this are mugs and oil-based Sharpie paint pens for this project. For the first mug, the one that my boy Corbin here is gonna help me with, we are gonna take three stickers that spell out dad and put them on the side of the mug. So I just wanna put it close to the middle this way and the middle this way from where the handle is. A, good job. That. That says dad. I think that looks good. So this is all that you need to do, unless we wanna add stars. Should we add stars? Yeah. Okay, let's add stars. Nice. You ready to add some stars to this? Yeah. Okay. I want colorful ones. Okay, I'll let you add them. Now we're just adding a few stars here and there, and then we'll be able to color it. I think the best part about this project is that it's so simple that it can literally come from him. Like, he can make it, and it won't have to be all me making it. Let's add a few more. But we add it right there. Now it's time to color. All right, what colors do you want? All of them. Whoa, okay, okay. For a second, I was like, oh! <laughs> I had forgotten because I'm thinking about all of these like nice ones that I'm about to do, and then I realized he was just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh! but that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> that was good, Corbin. Okay, cool, good idea. So we're gonna make three different designs. This one is one that I absolutely love. I've read this quote all over the place, but it's still so funny. So let's do it. So in order to be able to get a straight line on this, I'm just gonna use a piece of paper and the straight edge on that and hold it down while I write out each word. Again, with the handle out this way, I just wanna put it right here. Okay, so I'm finally finished with the world's greatest father, father mug. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. I actually made each word super thin at first, just like this thickness, the farter. On the rest of them, I just went over them again and made them double the thickness so that they're really thick and they pop. And then I think having the farter with just one layer, just one super thin, it actually makes it kind of stand out a little bit and I like it like that. I hope that it will make him laugh and not make him embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, so the last one I'm super excited about. You can use this in any way. It doesn't have to say daughter. Okay, ready? Let's do it. So because I'm gonna have three different lines on this one, I want to use my paper here and try to go about two thirds of the way up so that I can divide the space evenly. Yes. Are you guys ready for the grand reveal? Ready? Ready? Check it, 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 check it. Isn't that amazing? Awesome, like my daughter. I think my dad is going to love this one. <laughs> I love it. Woo! <gasps> Should we take off the stickers so that we can see it? Yeah. He's done a really great job coloring this and making sure that it's just completely covered. The most important thing with this one, yes, it's simple, but you have to make sure that the outline of each sticker is completely covered in marker, and that way it will stand out even better when you pull the sticker off. So are you ready to pull the sticker off? Yeah! Oh, he's picking his nose. <laughs> Whoa, that looks great. Yeah, doggy, that looks good. And you know what dad's gonna love? He's gonna love that it's mostly green. What we need to do now is just put them in the oven at 350. Make sure to not preheat your oven. Put it in when the oven is cold and then let it slowly heat up, otherwise you might crack your cups for a half an hour. And once that half an hour is off, don't just take them out of the oven, but make sure to just turn off your oven and let them slowly cool. We actually just let it cool overnight and now it's time to open the oven. Corbin, do you want to help me? It's not hot, okay? Ooh. Let's bring it over to the table. Good job. All right, they're done. 
I love them. I love the way that they turned out. I think that my father and my husband, and any father really on Father's Day, is gonna love this. It's so cute, and I love the things that we decided to put on them, and how Corbin can personalize it himself. That makes it awesome. So please subscribe. I put up videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, you can follow me over here every single day on the beach house. And if you look over here, I will have another Father's Day video for you to check out. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you guys next time. Beach house. <laughs> I have an early Father's Day gift for you. <laughs> okay, here you go. I was waiting for something to jump out. <laughs> Happy Father's Day! Oh, that was good. <laughs>